Professor Peter Cook. I'm very pleased to have you here in the Kunsthaus. Your and Colin Fournier's building that has become an icon not only for Austria, I would say, but for the world. The future of this building, and you called it a living alien. If you imagine this living architecture in the future, what would you? Want I would to like have? it to be. I would like it to continue as a sort of mystery. I think. Uh, I think, in a way, Graz itself is, is mysterious. It doesn't have any grand avenues. It doesn't have any, you know, even the hill with the castle on the top. And the castle always reminds me of a cuckoo clock. <laughs> it's a rather funny <laughs> castle. <laughs> and that's why we made the naughty nozzle facing okay. the cuckoo clock, so okay. to speak. But, you know, the, the lower level, which in a way is still in the tradition of the see-through <laughs> ground, yeah. Then the mysterious object, which you enter mysteriously, and then you pop out back into the world, but in a completely different elevation to the world. And I think this this room is very, very important to Graz. Yeah, the way you're describing it, you're already sort of like focusing also on this, probably what you call the mysterious and the storytelling that is and the theatre and the theatre of architecture. Oh, I think yeah. I think that uh, architecture in recent years has become more and more and more apologetic and prosaic and do-gooding and, you know, has to be uh, sustainable and da, 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 until everybody's just sort of, you know, wearing a, almost a sort of Chinese denim jacket. And, and, and I think people's in, you know, people want to be cheered up. Yeah, and yeah, cities yeah, want, you, and, and Graz is a funny yeah. old city. It isn't what it pretends to be, but what the hell... Uh, culture is like that. Culture is, is a magpie. Um, and, 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 and we're magpies. You know, we, we, I will, uh, tomorrow when I give the lecture, I will very openly show certain things that were, for me, anyhow, anyhow influential. Yeah. And after all, Colin brings a lot to the story too. You know, he had his own preferred parts and some, which again I will refer to, such as what he called the kangaroo pockets the white pieces that poke out from the general system. And, and they're all these things that you bring with you. Um, now you're saying you would go towards translucency. Would you, would you still, if you could sort of imagine? Yeah, yeah, I think I would still. I mean, there are lots of very interesting things going on and have been for some years in, in the uh, way in which you can basically bug glass, the way you can impregnate it with LEDs and yeah. layers, heating, you can make glass act as a radiator and da 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 and now I, I in fact for quite some years I've been interested in the notion that a window or a glass surface can be both window can be information board can be a heater can be a a, a, a virtual reality screen so to, instead of looking there and seeing the castle imagine if this panel here you're looking at the castle and at the press of a button or the tweak of something it could suddenly lay over it downtown New York or your grandmother's cottage and it could also show the stock market prices it could become a screen yeah uh, and it could also decide to to heat you a bit you know give you a few degrees you mean in, a, in a sense that it would become an energy production yeah but in, in a way this thing instead of just being a protective see-through yeah. panel has many more attributes and yeah. that is all all now within the known technology yeah, it, it is, can be done it, it's in so that sense. suddenly the tradition of the window and even the tradition of the glass curtain wall begins to be added upon you know but what i was aiming at the last question i think um communicating if we now think of if you think of a, a vision how this building should communicate in 20 years' time. How, how should it communicate? What would you say? I would like it to talk to the river in some way, and I don't know how. Okay. Yeah, you've but always I, had this, uh, also this idea of, of going down towards the river. Yeah, I, 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 I sort of, uh, I don't know how one would do that exactly, but I feel the river is a constituent part of the building. You know, that brings uh, to mind, there's, there was Bill Fontana, the artist, um, who whose work you can actually hear in our courtyard now, who is connecting to the water that mm. flows all the time from the river to the house.
I wish it could send tentacles out into the river. I wish it could grow into the river. And the public should be walking to possibly. That would yeah. also be nice.